So I started it. I'm giving next. Okay. So now let's say I move. I'm moving my head and I'm closing my eyes. And I'm also closing only one of my eyes. And uh, left I'm ready, right I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Now I'm trying the model. So what happened like that two classes. So probably which is why we're using two classes for the better reasons basically. Okay. So now that it is training, it's, see the complete training is happening on the client side if you see. So hello all. Welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So this is a video where I'm explaining about how do we build generative AI or AI driven UI components in React. Okay. So it's more like concern is more like an as an introduction to understand how do we introduce AI on the client hand side. Okay. Recently I made a video about like will AI take over the job of front end developer. I got a good reception for that. A lot of people watch the video. If you're still not watch the video link to I'll put on the screen in the description section. Without wasting further time, let's get started. Okay. So let's one thing that you all all would know by now is front end was largely uh programmed. Like it is not a user specific thing. For example, like there could be like themes, you know, it know, like dark theme, light theme, or even some celebration themes. Now, if you open the Flipkart app right now, as in when I'm talking Flipkart on Amazon app, as I said, February, like a lot of things related to Valentine's Day is customized. Correct? Same would happen for Diwali, same would happen for Independence Day, where it is customized. But that customization is not happening at the client level. So depending on the user persona, the whether it is a backend driven layout where the admin of the app are configuring the UI. Or it is uh, at a level where if this is the occasion, the UI should look like this. Putting other way, everything is getting programmed at the back end or front end level. Let's say we have one app that is for the Valentine's Day. How about like I am somebody who is feeling low or I am somebody who is feeling sad. Can we customize that website for the user requirement? That has never happened in the front end. So far, the front end was always static. And that's what I'm saying. So React component that think and adapt. Like how about like we start building that things that can think and adapt to user requirement instead of being always static or programmed. Okay. So why AI in React? Why it is required? So user expect personal intuitive experience. So going forward as with help of Gen AI help, people do not want to see even the same the same old website or same old app for longer duration time. So backend say keep customizing. That's one possibility. Or else how would we start customizing on the UI? So that more and more intuitive UIs come up. Okay. So I'm going to show multiple demos in this video. So please watch the video till the end. Okay. So AI libraries and tools for React. So a lot of you may not know this, like the TensorFlow.js, where uh, now the ML models need not to always run on the backend. There are ways now we can run the ML models on the client. So for a sh sh like smaller user requirement, okay, not necessarily like the the big algorithms like how open AI work, but the smaller portion of the algorithm that we can run on the client hand side, where this algorithm will perform much better. So we can bring a lot of customization to client. Let me show you. Okay, let's start from a simple narration so that you understand it very clearly. Okay, so I've written a program in, in React. So let's say a person is waiting. I just feel like happy. See the message customized to you seem happy. Have a fantastic day. I write something like sad. It looks like you're uh, feeling down. Hope things get better soon. Or let's say I write like great. You seem happy. Have a fantastic day. Okay. And uh, no, no major AI used here. I'm aware of that. Like if you look at the code here, all I've done is I'm checking whether the whatever the text entered includes happy and great. I'm showing like have a fantastic day. Same if it is having sad and tired. I'm so I'm setting it as like basically uh, looks like you're feeling down with some emoji. And the default case is hope you're doing well. Okay. So this is a more simple representation I wanted to show you. I'm going to show the advanced version from ten, uh, TensorFlow. So where basically the components which were used to be static, right? Like earlier, probably like if you have to show like you seem happy, you need to make an API call to backend. Backend need to analyze the string and tell you whether it is you are happy or not. But like so that's in, so the sentiment analysis of that string. The backend should send the response. It is no longer the case now. Like where instead of let's say you you are having this, what if you had a small TensorFlow algorithm that runs an ML algorithm that runs on the client and can like predict? Okay, so that's where we are headed towards. Let me show you for your your uh, easy understanding. I'm sure this or later even you guys can explore this. TensorFlow dot js dot demos. So this is a TensorFlow. Uh, TensorFlow, as you all know, like primarily deals with ML algorithm. So they have this JavaScript driven algorithms which can technically run on the browser for a smaller set of inputs and give relatively better results. So they may not be like great result, but they help a lot in the personalization. Let's open this hollow booth, okay? Just for the simplicity purpose, I've already kept it open. So activate your camera and move your head and control the dash and sparky. Okay, basically it is helping you to like as and when I move, 
my head it is going to basically move accordingly okay so now we started it i'm giving next okay so now let's say i move i'm moving my head and i'm closing my eyes and i'm also closing only one of my eye and uh, left i'm rotating right i'm rotating and let's say i change my background see basically what i'm saying this is more like that adaptive Adaptively, adaptivity is changing for whatever that I'm doing. Okay. Now let's look at slightly realistic sort of uh, an example that we all look at in a day to day basis. So that's that is like basically whenever you open your mobile app, if you have that uh, uh, face recognition enabled, you are going to get unlocked the app with the help of the that particular uh, feature. Correct. How does that work? In simple words, basically, it will have a lot of words, a lot of images that are been added to that particular uh, lot of images are fed as a data to that model and it trains it and then according to that whenever next time when you see your face it will get to know whether you are that user or not most of you might have seen the dji app if you're traveling in the airport where as soon as if this face is scanned it get to know which is the uh, flight you are headed to is your boarding pass right and it will allow you directly without any security related check okay now let's say this one so this is like a teachable machine basically it will take two images to tell whether Next time, whenever you pass data, whether you are the passing the right image or not, uh, whether you are passing the right user or not. Okay. With help of webcam, I'm trying. So let's say I'm looking at this uh, camera, as you can see here on my screen. I'm like hold to record. I'm recording. So I gave some samples. Maybe I'll do smile and again give some more samples. Samples now. Okay. Maybe I'll put be a little sad and give some samples. Maybe I'll look a little side and give some samples. Okay, so same I'm going to do here as well. Okay, for, for the fast forward sake, for your video sake, I'm going to fast forward it. Okay, now I'm trying the model. So what happened like that two classes. So probably which is why we're using two classes for the better reasons basically. Okay, so now that it is training, it, see the complete training is happening on the client side if you see. So now this is the preview where it will tell whether I am the right user or not. Okay, let's say now I close my face as you can see here. Okay, so the model try to predict whether I'm the right user or not. Okay, so whether it is having the great accuracy, right now I feel like no, because it as you see it keeps fluctuating. But you can export this model and use in your application. Like, you see, this is complete JavaScript related code which can run on your browser and give you results. Okay, so in a nutshell, what I'm trying to explain here is. We are heading towards an era where instead of like where ML was considered to be something that is running on the back end, it is slowly coming to the front end. Like we have a lot of algorithms. Like for example, the whenever you are on Zoom call, like your background becomes blur. Correct? Why should that algorithm run on the back end? Why can't it run on the client? Correct? I know the client has a limited memory and processor, but the models themselves are becoming more and more optimal to perform these things. So I'll end my video by explaining like what is the future of AI with React looks like. Okay. So in, as I already mentioned, we no longer going to have the same set of uh, AI, which was like running on the backend. We start having the AI models running on the client. First one. Second, the UI no longer going to be very static depending on the user persona, user perspective. The UI is going to be extremely dynamic. It's going to change the UI. Okay. Third one, as you see, ad adaptive UIs and AI debugging tools for the front end developer. Whenever you're building the code, there's so many AI tools that has come. I have, I'm making another video about it. If I, that goes live by this video, I'm going to put that link also explaining what are the AI tools that a front end developer must use in 2025. Okay. Voice and gesture responsive react apps. We already have some degree of them, but how about like we make it like more and more efficient. Like uh, where depending on the gesture, let's say you are using the Flipkart app and you just do this and it keeps changing or you are like basically you are not liking the video, you make your face like this and that particular cloth, the complete category of that particular cloth goes off and the better category of cloth comes in. Correct. So that's how where the systems are becoming more and more brilliant and that's where we are headed. Okay. So in a nutshell, I just summarize the video. So where we all have to start thinking about AI first in React. So how do we embed AI models to React Native or React JS? And along with the backend, what all things that we can do in the front end to make our experience like more better for the user. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. And what do you think? the future of the react with ai looks like mention that in the comment section if you like the video please like it comment whatever you felt honestly share the video with your friends and follow me on linkedin uh, i read very actively about link on linkedin i have fifty seven thousand plus followers youtube you subscribe to my channel more ai and front related tech i'm gonna bring in the upcoming weeks so stay tuned for that follow me on medium i read very actively on medium thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video